What's up, Internet? My name is Mike. I'm the general sales manager here at Clarington Kia. Behind us, we have a 2022 Nissan Frontier Crew Cab SV 4x4, six foot box, 6,000 pounds plus towing capacity. This is an incredible find at Clarington Kia. We're going to go take a tour of it right now. All right, you heard it in the opening. This can tow over 6,200 pounds. This is a 2022 Nissan Frontier SV Crew Cab, 4x4. Look at the box. This is a six foot box on this. It has the trailer tow package, anti sway bar in the back. I mean, this is an incredible truck. And I mean, the Frontier, look at it now. It's been completely redesigned from the ground up. Absolutely incredible looking vehicle. And that's part of what we're here to do today is to show you the exterior and interior condition of this Frontier, as well as some of the great features because it is used. It has just over 68,000 kilometers on it. No accident history. It's in an incredible shape, which you'll see. Uh, so let's jump right into it. What is underneath the hood? We have a 3.6 liter V6 engine. As I mentioned, you're gonna tow 6,240 pounds with this. That six foot box in the back can hold 1,100 pounds of payload. So this has definitely got all the strength that you need for everything that you want to do around the house, tow the trailer, you know, landscaping, whatever it might be, whatever you're buying this truck for, will do the job, okay? Uh, now, as we do this tour, if there's any dings, dead scratches, I will show you because that is the purpose of this so that you can see this is in incredible shape. As I mentioned, this is the SV model, which is gonna come with these nice looking 17 inch alloy wheels here. Now, these are winter tires. So this will also have a brand new set of all season tires as well with it. Plus these winter starts, which we'll put in storage for you, or you can take them when you pick up the truck, whatever you like. Um, taking a step back, you can see here the full crew cab size of the Frontier with that six foot box. It is a nice looking truck, absolutely big. And then you're gonna see when we get inside in just a minute, that the interior cabin space has got lots of room for all four or five adults, however many you're carrying definitely can do that job okay we've got side steps here down the side of the frontier we've got mud flaps in the front and rear fold in mirrors color-coded door handles and mirrors as well uh, now as we come around to the side uh, I don't see any door dings any dents any scratches or anything here to make take yeah, take note of coming around the back LED taillights great looking taillights on the back we have the step up bumper here notice that we've got rear sonar We've also got your trailer hits receiver with the seven pin wiring harness. All right, bumper's in great shape. We've got the SB 4x4 badge, that Frontier embossed in the back tailgate there, and then that new Nissan logo looks great. Rear view camera under the handle, dampened tailgate so it doesn't slam down. A couple cut out for cut, cup holders. We've got a factory applied spray on bed liner right from the factory, which is fantastic. And then we also have 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet in the back. So you can definitely power up some great power tools back here in case you're working on the job site. We've got some tie down hooks already in the bed, LED lighting as well. So this truck bed here is ready for work and it's obviously protected, which is great. Coming around to the passenger side, just take a walk down here, just in case we're missing any little dings or scratches. But again, looks into be great shape. Let's see, what do we have here? Is this might be, no, it's just some, just some goo. Never mind. Thought there was uh, maybe a little scratch in the paint. Now, as we come around to the front, you're gonna notice these great looking LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED fog lights as well. We have that aggressive looking cutout in the front bumper. And then taking a step back, you can see that nice dark chrome grill new Nissan logo and then we have the same Frontier embossed on the front of the hood here. Only thing of noting here, little stone chip. That's about it. That's as bad as it gets on this Frontier. It's in incredible condition. Um, one thing to note here too on the hood, different style hood now. They've actually put some contours in this for aerodynamic, a little bit more fuel efficiency. Used to be just a flat hood on Nissan. They've done some good design characteristics on this vehicle now. One thing to note on the Frontier, and I believe I left the keys inside the cab, but this does now have a remote start on the SV model. So you can get this started from the remote, cool down the cabin, it's great. Oh, look at this, I failed to prepare. I apologize, the mats, because we can't put them in the trunk, obviously somebody would take them, we're here. <laughs> 
So rear seats here, I've got the passenger seat all the way back. To show you, there is still legroom here in the back in case you have a really tall passenger in the front. These seats here are in great condition. We've got a center armrest built in here with cup holders. Seats do not have any rips, tears, stains, or burns. We've also got a USB and regular, uh, sorry, USB-C outlet in the back. Another 120 volt, 400 watt outlet back here to power up all of your kids' electronics if that's what we're doing. And then these seats here fold up with a little harder to do because I, hold on, stand by. There we go. <laughs> some storage underneath. These seats will stay up as well. So that way, if you do want to put some things under there, maybe for road trips or what have you, you can do that. Now, here's this. What is this? Is this a scratch? Uh, no, I don't think so. I probably shouldn't have licked my finger to do that. That's gross. No, that's not a scratch. It'll buff off. Okay. In the front seat here, we've got, again, great looking cloth seats in the front in fantastic condition. Non-smoking vehicle. There's no odors. We have a power driver seat that is missing the backrest cap on it. Not a problem. We will get one for you. Uh, I guess it's fallen off. But yeah, power driver seat, which is great. Now let's hop in here. It is a warm, warm September day. I am not complaining. I am not complaining, but it is warm out. All right, let's turn down the climate control. So that way you can hear me. I'll override it. There we go. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Now, let's talk about the safety features on this Frontier because it actually quite shocked me when I was doing some research on this vehicle, all the safety features, because I'm not used to that on the Frontier. The Frontier used to be a very entry-level truck. Um, in my experience, when I used to work them for seven or eight years, now it is not. We have forward emergency braking. Uh, we've got blind spot assistance. We have a lane keeping assist. We have rear cross traffic alert. We've got the rear sonar on the vehicle. Um, what else? Lane follow assist. We have all the adaptive uh, advanced safety systems on the vehicle to keep you and passengers safe. Even high beam assists as well, which is fantastic. Intelligent cruise control with stop and go. Um, I'm not used to this being on a Frontier. Usually it was pretty plain Jane, but we've got everything on this one, which is great. Now I'm going to try to show you down here. Let me zoom in here. All right, so we've got tow mode up here on the top left. That's going to tune the transmission in case you've got a heavier load uh, to give you different shift points to try to save some fuel economy, but also give you uh, the power that you need. We've got the outlet here. You can turn it on or off. This is for our adaptive safety features, which we were just talking about can turn on our cargo lamp, our desil, uh, hill descent control, and then turn off our traction control if we needed to. Now, speaking of, yes, this is a four x four truck, a true four x four. So you can select from four high or four low, uh, depending on obviously the speed that you are traveling, you would choose the one that makes sense to you. We've got a push button start to go along with our remote starter system as well. Um, now up front here, this is a leather, heated steering wheel. Again, something I'm not used to in a Frontier. Uh, our volume controls on the left, our adaptive cruise or intelligent cruise controls on the right. We've got a great looking dashboard on the Frontier as well. 68,786 kilometers on this vehicle. Um, lots of information in the center display. This used to be all just basic stuff, but now we've got that nice, I believe it's a six and a half inch LCD display in the front here. And then, <coughs> excuse me, sliding over here we have now this beautiful touchscreen system here with the gloss black surrounding you can see uh nissan's kind of newer style uh interface here for the radio xm satellite radio it does have uh, apple carplay and android auto as well and then when we put it in reverse we have a nice clear rear view camera to make parking nice and easy along with the center line in case you are backing up uh trying to hook up a trailer here so that's gonna be very convenient for you as well so touchscreen with the manual controls here, as you can see. Um, and then let's go here to our menu system. So this is kind of like a touchpad, iPad thing. You can slide it along and customize your home menu uh, to what you like. As we kind of continue down, we've got dual zone climate control. So driver and passenger have independent temperatures, which is really nice. I'll get this shifter out of the way for a second here. We've got our heated seat controls, our heated steering wheel couple more USB ports in the passenger heated seat as well. So USB-C and a regular USB. And then a nice little junk container down here so that we can store whatever it is else you like. The 
shifter up here as well. I'm used to on a Frontier. It used to be up here. Titan used to be up here. They've all switched that now down to this, which I like better. Um, it does take up a little bit more space, but it is that traditional truck that most people enjoy. Here's our keys to show you. The remote starter on the key fob, so that top button there is our remote start. A little bit more junk container here, armrest, and then I'll just kind of give you a little pan around the dash here. All right. But this is a 2022 Nissan Frontier with 68,000 K, the SV Crew Cab 4x4. If you're not in love with this truck by now, I don't know what to do because this thing is in great shape. It's got a ton of great features. It's extremely well priced, no accident history. So if you want to take this truck home, you can do it two ways. You can visit clearingtonkia.ca. You can reserve the vehicle right online if you like, or of course you can visit us in store right here in the heart of Bowmanville. Very easy to get to from pretty much anywhere in Ontario, whether it's Ottawa, Niagara Falls, Peterborough, North Bay, you name it. We do business across Ontario because of videos like this make it so much easier to buy this car instead of any of the others that you're looking at. So please reach out to our amazing sales team here. We're ready, happy, waiting to help you find the perfect vehicle for you today. Thanks so much. No, butchered the ending. Thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see you at Clarington Kia.